Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's workout, Matt Pilates. This is a way to really recover and give back to your body. Equipment today is just a mat in your amazing body. Make sure women put that ponytail down low or high because we're gonna be on our backs doing a lot of core work and of course, hitting the entire body. And if you haven't yet, do make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any workouts. All right, you guys, we are gonna be on our um, seated position here to warm up in C curve. So sit on up. Come on there, girls. Hands behind the knees, roll the shoulders back. And what we do is we work the C curve. So you're just going at your pace, tucking the tailbone, getting as low as you can, pausing, and then taking yourself back up. So I'm gonna round down and lift up. So this workout, there is no timer because Pilates is not about time to, right? It's about just a few repetitions so that we keep the body energized for the rest of the day. And everybody's just gonna go at their pace. So again, you're tucking that low back, that tailbone area, and then lifting up with a long spine. Let's just do two more of these. And then on the last one, can you come down and just hold it? Now see if you can either take one hand away or both hands and hold. And everybody is going to be in a different position here. Relax the shoulders, look between your thighs here. And then take the rest of your spine to the ground. Arms by the side, back of the head on the ground. Right leg is up, push the low back into the mat and then bring your left leg up to meet it. Feet together, knees open and hold. So there should be a brace going on in your belly. Try to keep the brace as you lower one foot towards the ground and switch. Check out your back of your head on the ground so chin is slightly down. We're going to do one more on each leg. Hold them here. Now grab behind the knees, lift the head and shoulders. Try to lift the upper back from the mat. Either keep the legs here or extend them out. Heels together, toes turn out. Start to pump the arms. Here's my breath. Inhale. Exhale. Look to the thighs. Pumping vigorously, like you're splashing the water. Reaching the arms along. You can take one hand behind the head. If you need some neck support, you can always bend the knees. All the air goes out. Cleansing breath here. One more breath cycle here. Now hold. Bring the legs down, reach the arms back for the roll up. Bend knees or straight legs. Arms reach up, inhale, exhale. Lift the chest, the spine, stretch forward. And then roll yourself back. Tucking that tailbone, working that C curve. Arms go up. If you get a little stuck, you can always use a leg. Pull the core in as you stretch forward. Now you could do this without shoes. We're just outside today, so I want to keep my feet a little bit warm. It's chilly out here. So pull in as you reach. Relax the shoulders. And this one, you don't want to rush this. You want to take your time. we got two more of these. Can you anchor legs to the ground? I'm going to flex, squeeze my legs. Like anything we've done before. Oh, oh, One more yeah. roll up. Now if your back is bad. tight, you're gonna feel it in that low back here. No, Release all the way down, home. nice and slow. Arms go down by the hips, knees come into the chest. Extend the legs up, squeeze them together. We're gonna just work on hip lifts here versus roll over. So take the legs in, lift up, and release down. So I bring them in, lift. So pressing through the hands, going deep inside that core. Let's 
do four more. You're going to keep your right leg up, extend your left leg down, point the toe of the right leg, arms long by the side, you're going to circle the leg in, down, out, and up. Let's do five times in this direction. Anchor your left leg and reach the right leg. Stop at the top, reverse, out, in, and then up. And you reach your toe, straighten your leg even more. Hold it up, give it a little stretch. And switch. Anchor your right leg, point the left foot, take it in, down, and out. I like to point the left, flex the right. Reach the leg long, engage your quad, reverse at the top. So if you're a quadricep, activate it. So really reach the leg long, extend it out as much as you can. Hold it at the top, give it a good stretch here. And then tuck in, rock up. We would roll like a ball, but this driveway is a little bit rough for us. So we're just gonna hold a little balance here. Roll the shoulders back and brace. Think about that low belly. Pull it up and in here. Come run away. Your right knee is gonna come in, hands on top, single leg stretch, and then switch. Release the head if you need to, for if it gets a little bit tense in the neck. You can reach the hand to the outside of the ankle. Your head is lifted, looking between the thighs. One more each leg. Hug both knees in, drop the head for a moment. Feet together, knees open. Tuck in, so lift the head and shoulders so we squeeze everything towards the shoulders and then squeeze and lengthen legs and arms away from the body so you're reaching arms and legs away. Circle the arms out, tuck in. Reach and pause, tuck back in. Try to keep the head lifted the whole time. Lengthen the legs, maybe squeeze them a little bit together. Anytime you need to release the head, you can do so. Try to get your biceps by your ears, and you reach away. One more. Legs up, head down. Grab the right leg, release the left leg. Give it two pulls, heads can be up, and switch two pulls. When your head is up, it's great to look down towards that waist or your inner thighs. One pull now. Grab a little higher, get a little bit more stretch. Four, three, both legs up. Glue them together, head down. Hands behind the head, lift the head and shoulders, straight legs are bent knees, both legs go down. Both legs come up. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Again, look between your thighs. Bend knees will do a modification, right? That'll be less intense. You got three more of these. Going into crisscross, looks like bicycle. Bring the right knee in and turn and hold. And switch. Switch. Really rotate over. Look to the back elbow. All right, let's go a little tempo up here. One, two, three, four. And release. Woo! Reach the arms and legs so you stretch out through the waist. Tuck the knees into the chest, rock yourself up, extend the legs out, hip width apart, flex the feet, sit up tall, bring a spine stretch. So zombie arms reach in front, length of the spine, and then drop the chin round down and reach for the toes, and then come up, up tall. Tuck through. So it's like your spine's on the wall, you release it, press it back up tall. 
You got two more. Can you flex your feet? Activate the legs. Last one. Bring those feet in. Find some balance. Let's try that boat pose here. Feet together, knees open. Brace the core. Now take the hands outside the hips or come, let's come to our elbows here. Feet stay off the floor. Keep the feet in the middle of the body. Drop the knees to the front. Now to the back and then to the front. Pause and kick. So we're going to go to the back. One to the front, two, hold at the back and kick. So we're going to do three twists here. Front, back, front, kick. Look past your knees so that we keep the shoulders in one position, just using the waist. Two more of these. Pay attention to where your feet are. They're right in the center of your body. Last kick. All right, you're going to take it all the way down onto the back here. Legs come up. We got corkscrew. Small to start with. Let the legs drop towards the right. Circle down, around, and back to center. And then reverse this to the left, down, around, and center. As you feel warmer and stronger, the circle can become bigger. Glue your legs together. You can even add a hip lift as you come back to center. You lift the hips up over your head. Or really, your chest. Last one. Come on up, rock yourself up. Open the legs wide, flex the feet, reach the arms out in T. And we're gonna twist to the front, reach the hand to the outside of the foot, saw off. Come up tall, twist to the back, exhale. Inhale, twist and saw. Can you look to the back hand as you reach? Lengthen even taller. Last one. And relax. Here we go. We're going to flip it here onto all four. Come into a plank. Woo. Plank position. Hands under shoulders. Knees or toes. I'm going to come to plank. So you have the option of being on the knees here. Find a really good plank. Brace the core here. Open the feet a little wider. At least the width of your mat. Because you're going to take your right arm and reach it forward. And then see if you can pick up your left leg. You could be on hands and knees. And then release it down. Left hand first. And then your leg. Hold. Release. Right hand first. Then the leg. Switch that out. Left hand. Right leg. Release. Let's do a few more of these. As you lift your leg, pull up in the core, use your glute. You got one more on each side here. And release from that position here. Come to all four. Taking the real right leg, extending it long. Press the ground away. And then I want you to flex your foot. Pull the heel to the butt, bend the knee. Bend straight. You're showing me, you know how you do a bicep curl flexing? The same thing here. Really flex it, reach it. Go at your pace. And again, when you take the leg out straight, it's straight. Lock it out a little bit here. That's A-OK -okay for you. It's gentle. One more. Come back to the bent knee. Now bring the knee into the chest and then kick it back. Straighten the leg. Pull your head back a little bit, lengthen through that back of the neck. You got two more of these. And then we're on forearm plank. All right, so forearms, take the legs back. That right leg, put the toe on top of the heel of the left leg. Tuck the tailbone a little bit here. From there, you're gonna lift the leg up. Lift up, tap, tap. 
competition, shorty, that's easy. You can always Red drop that dollars, left knee. Fresh white tea, a good Two more. Swinging in the reno, got it hugging And release all the way down into the ground. All the way down. Swimming here, so nose is down. Just start by lifting right arm, left leg, and then switch. One more time, slow. You can always stay here. And then when you're ready to, we lift everything super, and then we start to swim. Lift the head up. Remember the hundred. Kind of the same breathing. Reaching the arms by the ears, lifting your thighs. And really sit back into your heels, child pose. I've been really working in a steady, got me buzzing. I've been getting money, now I'm everybody cousin. Waffle house run, and it's back to the bed. Hit it from the back, pulling tracks from your All four, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Brace the core, extend your left leg here. Flex your foot, pull up and in. Bend your knee. Bend, extend. You don't have to be on the beat here. I'm not on the rhythm. Press it out. Keep the knee lifted. I need that knee up at hip height. That's gonna give me more activation. Hold the knee bent. Bring it in. Kick it back. And when you kick it back, boom, with some power. I know you like kickboxing. Come on, push it back. Four, three, two, one, forearm plank. Lift the knees, or you can always drop that left knee. Or sorry, it would be the right knee. Take the toe of the left foot onto the heel of the right leg. Now start to lift. Up, tap. I don't want nobody else in my life. Four more. So darling, please pull me closer. Four plank hold. We're gonna do a little saw here. So I'm bringing my shoulders towards my this. Press back and then lift the hips up. So again, I'm gonna come forward, back, hips up. Rocking on the toes and drawing the abs up and in. And our little dolphin here. One more saw to dolphin. Hold for a moment. Come on, you can hold. You can hold. Pull it in. Three, two, relax, child. Nice job. Remember that roll up. We're gonna do the neck pull, which is very much like the roll up, but it's a little harder. Flip it onto your back. What makes it harder is hands behind the head. So if you have a hard time getting up, reach the arms. Feet are open. We exhale through round forward. And then we sit up nice and tall. Hinge with a flat back and round down. So go at your pace. Exhale, round. Woo. Now sit up tall, push your head into your hands. Hinge back with a flat back and then tuck under and release the spine. So you round forward, tuck, tuck, tuck. Lengthen. So we use a lot of the components that we were already doing. Round forward. Pull the abs in, lift your thighs from your waist, and then lift up tall, and round back down. I love Jennifer does her modification, totally great. She's got a little rectus dialysis. Is that what it is, right? Do one more neck pull. Woo. Sit up tall and release all the way down to the ground. And sometimes you need to fix your pants after that one, right? <laughs> Woo. Bridge. Bend the knees. Arms by your hips here. Back of the head is on the mat. Tuck the tailbone, lift the spine off the floor, and then release the spine to the ground one for a time. Do it again. Tuck under and lift. Hold, then release. All right, next time we're going to come up and hold it at the top. Roll and lift and hold. 
Now take your right leg, extend it to the sky. Point the toe. Now flex the foot, swing it down. Point the toe, swing it up. Four more swings. Keep pressing through the heel. Now I want you to hold the leg up. Drop the hips down, down, lift. Single leg bridge here. We only got eight of these. Four more. Hold it, foot goes down. Switch the legs. Left leg is up, point the toe. Now flex the foot, swing down, point, swing up. Take your time. Lengthen in the kick here. One more. Hold it up, drop the hips, down, lift. Sometimes we're on the beat. One more. Foot goes down. Now walk the feet in a little bit more. Lift the heels up if you can. If you're cramping, drop the heels. Open the knees and close. Open, close. Wait, a cramp. Who's else got a cramp? Four, three, ooh, cramp. Release the spine, walk the feet out, hug the knees into the chest. Ooh. Rock it up, and we're doing a little spine twist. So extend the legs out, lift the chest up, glue the legs together, reach out and tee. We twist to the right, three, two, one, center back, three, two, one, center, twist and length. Glue your legs together. Squeeze them. And relax. Ooh. All right, take your body all the way down to the ground. Leg drop. We're going to be dropping the legs down to the floor. Bring the knees into the chest. Lift the hips so the knees come to the shoulders. And then from there, pause. Shoot the legs up and then push the hips up and release the legs down. Knees to chest. Legs up. Release down. So knees come in, hips up. Rock that spine off the ground. You almost plow the legs behind you. Slow on the down. If you want more advanced, take up the knee bend. You lift the legs back, up, and release. One more of these. And release. Knees in the chest, feet down. Sway the knees to the right and then to the left. We're going to do side kick series. So you're going to be lying down on one side. Oh, yeah. Straight line. You're like on a balance beam here. That was the last time you were on a balance beam. I definitely would fall off. Drop your head into your arm. And then from there, you just double leg lift here. Lift and release. I know we love to move to the beat of the music, but just slow it down a little bit here. We're going to do five more, give you a total of 15 here. Hold it up. Drag the feet forward about a 45 degree angle. Hand can be on the shoulder. Top leg lifts. Two kicks to the front flex. Two. Point, swing back. Exhale forward. Inhale back. You can do both hands behind the head. A little bit more challenge and stability here. One more. And then we go to up, down. Heel to heel. Turn out. Kick up, flex down. So point. I always feel like it's a squeeze, like you're crushing a can between your legs and lengthening it out. You get some core involved with that. Two more. And then we 
keep the leg in hip height and we circle small about the size of a melon. We'll do 10 in each direction and then reverse it. Bending the knees, clam. You can have the feet up or not. Your choice. Push it to the back, so that you should feel a pause at the back. Option to come on the elbow and use the bottom hip. I'm going to clam and kick. Drop the hips, lift the hips. You can stay all the way back down where you just were. Open that hip up. Two more. Now, from that position, come onto your hip. Bring the knees in. I'm on my elbow, reaching my arm, and then I'm extending the legs out, tucking the knees in, feet together in clam, and then press them out. Tuck in, press out. What's going on on that shoulder? Do that. Don't sink in that bottom shoulder, Catherine. There we go, lengthen away. Four, actually three, two, hold it, hold it, drop the top leg if you want to, or it doesn't have to be there, start to give me some inner thigh lift here, bottom shoulder down, you can be all the way down on your arm, but watch the shoulder, I'm going to check out shrugging, right, there we go, five more, all right, circle. I always say, what does your circle look like? You're going to have like a pen on the end of it or a marker. Be a funny looking circle. And reverse it. Just gets a little stuck sometimes, right? Ooh. Now flex your foot and lift. Put your shoulder down if you're up on your elbow. Five more. And release. All right, you guys, from that position, come on up into a side plank. Knee down. Reach that arm. Just a nice stretch here. All right, release it to the other side. So it's double leg lift. Can I get you out of my head? These are the workouts that give back to you as much as we're like, oh my God, I don't have time for this. Believe me, later on in the road or down your path of journey of being healthy, double leg lift, this is so important for you. May not be the sweatiest workout that you do, but that doesn't mean it's not good for you, right? Three. To hold it up, drag the feet slightly forward. Hand can go on the head, leg lifts up, two kicks forward. Point the toe, one kick to the back. We want to minimize movement, so brace the core as we move. Relax the shoulders. One more. Heel to heel, up, down. Point the toe up. Like squeeze down. Relax the shoulders down, brace the core even more. One more time. And then bring it up to hip height, 10 circles. Try not to open up to the sky. You're nice and side position here. Reverse it. Bend the knees, clam. Feet can be up or down. Open. 
Okay, those feet are in line with your hips. Thought I met you at the wrong time. Then you caught me on that one night. Girl, I wanna know. All right, we're gonna be adding that kick. So I'm coming up to my elbow, lifting the hip up, and then kicking close and kick. Three, two, and one. From that position, drop that top leg in front, bottom leg, point the toe, lift. You can always reach that arm out, drop that bicep, uh, ear into the bicep. Start to circle. Reverse that circle. I can recall when you came through that door, yeah. Glowing like a headlight, independent of the way, got her bread right. And then start to flex the foot, lift and lower again. Sexy body, make a jaw hit the floor. Try different things. Angle the toes down sometimes. And release. All right, come on to that side knee and just give it a side stretch here. Knee down, reach over. Now, Catherine and Carol, if you need to face me, you can. I'm going to be on my back for teaser. So we'll start with like that first base and then we'll go up from there. So we'll start with the easier versions and then make our way into the harder versions here. The legs are up at tabletop, bent knees, hands behind the knees. This is my level one teaser. I lift the head and shoulders. I use a little bit of uh to rock up to a seated V sit. And then I open up. And then I place the hands back underneath the knees and around down. So let's all give it a try. Lift the head and shoulders, a little uh. Hold it, reach, tuck in, release. Do that again, lift the head and shoulders, rock up, open, and release. Now, we try not to use the hands behind the knees. We go up in one movement, we can push the legs out, and yeah. then release. I don't wanna slow so my knees are bent, and then when down. I come up, I, I press them out, I just wanna and I'm up. I don't wanna look back and say I Let's do one more of those. Sometimes it can be hard. You can always go back to the first version now. Keep the legs right where they are and roll down and bring the legs straight up. So from this one here, I'm going to reach the arms. Exhale. Legs come out to a 45 degree angle and the arms. And then I release down. The legs go back up. Arms go up. Legs release down. Straight legs. Up into teaser. Now we try to take everything down and everything up. Reach the arms, everything goes down, everything comes up. Release, one more time. Everything comes up, can you hold? I don't wanna waste time, I don't wanna waste time. Can you take the hands behind you? Open up wide, legs go up. You guys still with me? You're gonna circle the legs down, out and up. And then reverse it, like the corkscrew, but now we're in seated position. You have that option of flying all the way down. Don't grab your mat with your hands, right? Don't make it so big, Catherine, make it smaller. That's gonna hurt your back. You could bend your knees. One more in each direction. Call this hip circles. Woo! All right, legs go down, stretch forward over your legs. We're almost there. We're gonna do all the stuff that makes you uncomfortable, okay? And be okay with it. Be okay with being uncomfortable. Reverse planks. Let's start with bent knees. Hands under the shoulders. Catherine, really important. Hands under the shoulders. You two at home, not this. Drop your hips back now. Plant the feet, 
Start to lift your hips up. Don't move your body forward into your toes. Just stay there for a moment. Release down. Press them up. Chin down a little bit here. You can look to your thighs. All right, release down. Come back up. And this time, let's take one leg away. Extend one leg up. And then switch. Keep the hips lifted. Extend the leg up. Good. And let's do that again. This gets into some muscles in those backs. They get a little neglected. One more each leg. And it's good to open up through the front of the body. And release. All right, roll the wrists. That's your first level. We're going to go up one level, you guys. You can always come back there. We're going to straighten the legs. And we're going to do those leg kicks. Is everybody okay? Whew, you're getting a little suntan there. So we're in reverse plank with straight legs or bent knees. I'm telling you, when you got some back issues, bend your knees. Hold. Pick up one leg, kick it up, and switch. It may not go very high. Do it again. That's two. One more for three on each side. And then you're gonna hold. Works the hamstrings. A lot of times we're weak in the hamstrings and in that low back. Release, Woo, round forward. Come onto your knees. I'm gonna have my real right leg down. My left leg is out, hand under shoulder. Reaching that arm over and then bring it up. Top leg, lift and tap down. Two more. Hold at the top, circles. Three, two, reverse that circle. A different position, a different balance for the body when we're in kneeling. Three, two, one. Bend the knees. And we do tuck in. All right, this is a mermaid. Stretch to one side. Grab that ankle. And then come on the elbow. Stretch. Lift up and over. Do that again. On the elbow stretch. All right, swing the legs around. On to the knee. Get a good posture. Top leg, lift and lower. Hold it up, small circles. Reverse it. I feel like I need to do this. Get this on my eyes. Reach your leg long. Three, two, hold. And then we bring it in for mermaid. I tuck in, grab onto that ankle. <sighs> Try to lift and lengthen to one side. Drop the shoulder onto the elbow, stretch. Lift up and over, use the core to move. And then we come on to plank. Woo. I want those knees to be down and the heels to pull to the butt. Hands, you know, they could be about shoulder width apart. Pull the head back. So pull the heels to your butt. So you're really on the top of almost the thigh. Brace the core, zip up your butt cheeks a little bit here. Do one push up. Hold, toes down, plank. Knees down, heels in, push up, squeeze the butt. Move at your pace here. Be really aware of the middle of your body here and in your shoulders. Pull your ears back a little bit, right? Get them in line. Down, 
dog. Walk the dog a little bit here. Drop your head between your arms. Both heels push back. Hips go up high. Step your right foot forward and pause and lunge. Open up the right arm to the front. Open up the chest. Hand goes plank. Step it back, switch legs. Open up to the back. Oh, it's a beautiful day here. Hand goes down, step back to plank. Hold. Now, push the shoulders down, pull your head back a little bit here. Look out in front. Tuck your tailbone slightly, brace the core. Pull your shoulders down. Knees gently and slowly come to the ground. Sit back in child. Ooh, you're gonna take yourself on up to standing. You guys did awesome. Oh, I'm so glad you stayed for that, aren't you? All right, let's finish off with a little gratitude. It's a little sunny out here today. I know when that sun shines, it's a little hard to see us, right? <laughs> we all look whited out. That's all right. We made it through. You made it through. Give me a big inhale. I'm going to step over here. Reach it up. Pull it down into your heart. Have that gratitude because that attitude is what affects your body. Yes, it does, right? You guys, thank you so much. It was a chilly day here. Woo! But I heated it up. You did awesome. We'll see you back on the mat. So make sure you're following me on Instagram and Facebook. Comment below. Hey, give it a thumbs up. I need that. It's helping this channel grow. And it helps me to keep creating free content for you. Hit that subscribe button, you guys. Take care.